have two. Okay. Um, Madame Clicquot, uh, the Bouve Clicquot Champagne Empire. I don't know. Many people don't realize she uh, was a widow and she put her inheritance at stake to take over that business in 1805 at 27 years old when women didn't even have a bank account. They didn't have business. And she told her granddaughter, whatever you do, be audacious. And that woman, like, it still it gives me chill bumps that way back when, the boldness and the courage of her. So she's like my fave. I went to see the Champagne Empire when we were in France, and I just love her. And um, Dolly Parton, she's a mogul. She, she can do business with a smile and grace and that great Southern positive attitude, but don't underestimate her. I love Dolly Parton. I don't, I don't want to change. I, I don't want to, um, if you were to say, what's my, you know, what's my weakness? It is my tender heart, but I don't want it to change. I love, everybody knows I love Beyonce, but, um, but right now I'm into Elton John. I don't know if you saw my Facebook yes. <laughs> concert. I'm so into Elton John right now. It just makes me, it just makes me happy. I don't know. It's his last tour. I saw it too. It's awesome. Just a legend. Oh my God. And to witness all of the things, if you saw his story, all the things he went through, what an amazing, amazing person. And uh, I loved it. So I'm an Elton John kick right now. <laughs> well. I sing fantastic in the shower, but right now the song I'm liking to sing is Elton John's I'm Still Standing. I'm still standing after all this time, acting like a true survivor, feeling like a little kid. I'm still standing. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> that isn't it. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but you know, it's, it's, it's singing like I'm still standing because good gosh, if you're an entrepreneur, you are getting, if you're doing something big, you're getting hit constantly. And now it's just like, you know, okay, come on. Like that other song, Bulletproof, you know, I'm bulletproof. Come on, bring it on. But this is part of my story. And I'm going to use that as fuel, as mm -hmm. fuel for my story, as fuel for my business. So it's just that mindset change.